Hello everybody, so Shazia is here. Um, in uh, one of my videos I was talking about a rotary uh, switch. That's what you're looking at right here. This is an example of one that I put together. And what it uses is uh, bearings that's on the uh, little um, writer deal on the actual hard drives inside your hard drives. There's six of these on here. And that helps for the uh, when the wires there's two wires right down in here and as this thing is turning around every time it hits one of those rollers the bearings it uh, makes a connection and pulses the coil well, also um, so if I get a screwdriver over here <coughs> for this video I've got a uh, neodymium, three quarter inch neodymium magnet spear in between two little coils that actually came out of one of those wireless weed chargers that I'm just using uh, to try to put a little extra pulse in there. But anyway, basically this is a switch. It's hooked in between either you can hook it in between either the positive side or the negative side in between your battery just like a normal switch circuit and so every time it makes a connection it will pulse the uh, the coil and you can actually use the same switch to get this motor to switch itself on and off by itself so uh, basically what's uh, going on here is I got the uh, I got three neodymium magnet hard drive magnets in here and when you uh, get this at the right speed which I want to show you something about uh, magnetic fields it's important you'll see that when you get it at the right speed it will start to spin that ball around anyway I got a little motor controller a little 9 volt battery going on here I don't know how much juice is in this but I don't need a whole lot so I'm just going to turn this on for a second Now, I'm not sure if you can even see that ball and they're moving. Let me see if I can move the camera above. All right. See if you can watch the difference. When this thing is going fast, see that magnet down there, that spear magnet's hardly even moving. But watch when you start to bring it down slow. I'd get it just the right speed. Let me put a different battery in the, on this thing. I've got some freshly charged batteries. Let's see what we do with that. All right, let's try this again. boost it's almost like tuning you just get it at the perfect the perfect speed and it'll start spinning around in circles in there There we go. Anyway, this is important because what I was talking about, you got to have time for that magnetic field to interact with the other magnetic field and expanding and collapsing in your coils so that you get the full amount of uh, magnetic field from inducing the coil and then the back EMF from releasing that so you need that time in between there is the reason why you see on here 
I've got six separate contacts and they're all they're all evenly spaced out and the motor controller gives me the option to uh, sorry about that the motor controller gives me the option to speed it up and slow it down And if you get it at the right the right speed, like I said, you'll see that, that Neo sphere start to spin around. Uh, let me get this back here farther. I'm hoping you can see enough of this. Alright, now I showed you in that last video when I was tapping on the battery. That's what this is to replace so I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put battery on there so now instead of uh, me having to tap on it then that will replace that I'm hoping that you can see those neon bulbs coming on now, what I was trying to explain about the magnetic field, being able to expand and collapse in those coils and to get the maximum amount out of there, you got to bring that timing to the right spot. Now, two things going to happen when I speed this, this up, which the frequency of how fast that moving isn't allowing that field to expand and collapse quick enough and so you see the neon bulbs aren't even on when this when I bring it down slower and also the neodymium magnets not being interacted with because the fields are changing too rapidly to make a difference they don't have time for those two fields to do what magnetic fields do when they come in line with each other so if I bring this down hard to get it down low enough without shutting the whole thing off watch this reaction that you'll get too far down first off the slower those contacts are made, make, make and break those circuits, the more powerful those neon bulbs get because you're allowing that full expansion and collapsing of that field. But right now what's going on is every time it makes a contact it pulses those coils over there. And it's on the on the flyback you get that that voltage spike let me see if I can cheat a little bit and get that ball going there we go come on it's just something if you replicate you're gonna have to tinker around with until you find that sweet spot. But once you do it, that, that needle still, sphere will start to roll around there pretty good. And it, it's something really cool happens when it does. You'll actually see that neosphere magnet begin to assist that rotor going on. see the slower that gets the brighter these neon bulbs get probably actually need a battery that's almost dead because this is going really too fast let me put a different battery in there and see if I get a better result 
I when it ain't got as much juice in it. wasn't that great. and ain't got enough in there at all. Anyway, let me put this one back on there. Let that battery run down a little bit. Maybe this will slow down enough. It's actually kind of going too fast. Anyway, you're getting a maximum amount of flyback on that by timing that out. And all you have to do, let me see if I can do this by hand. All right. Watch how watch how powerful that is. That when it, I'm just moving by hand, just slow. There's the difference in the speed right there. And you also notice that that the magnets, the neodymium magnets, are interacting with that that sphere, if I can get this at a good steady pace, like that, there you go, keep it at that pace right there, you're getting a maximum amount out of it. Anyway, this video is getting long on there, but I wanted to show that to you. That's the rotary switch that I was talking about. If you build that, replicate it, get a get your motor controller where you can slow that puppy down as much as possible. You've seen about the speed that I was doing it and that those, all three of these uh, neon bulbs was coming on. That's the key. And plus, that neo sphere inside that little shot glass there, when it gets to spin it around, actually helps to assist Keeping those magnetic fields going around like that actually helps to assist that motor. And at some points, that thing will uh, surge and speed up. So it's just another little interesting anomaly that was a uh, part of this, but had initially planned on putting, uh, you can see those little coils on each side there, had initially planned on putting a neodymium magnet in there. I was just want to run some tests, but that was a good explanation of what has to happen in those coils in order to get the maximum amount of power such as when I turn that like that and watch this just slowly you're getting a maximum amount of time needed to get the full pulse out of that but like I said earlier you can actually get this motor to switch itself on and off doing the same technique and you can put multiple uh, connections around multiple brushes around to get uh, it to pulse more coils at the same time let's see if I can get that right speed again there we go 
anyway once your battery starts to run down a little bit and you keep it down on a really low setting on just get it going good enough to get it spinning up and then bring it down a little bit until it's just right about before it's ready to stop turning there did you see that kick around like that that's what I was talking about right there you can see it uh, starting to slow down and then speeds itself up and find the perfect setting on there you can see down there both all three of these neon bulbs are coming on uh, so you're getting a really good flyback on that so anyway once again there's three hard drive magnets on there three quarter neosphere six uh, uh, doggone uh, oh what are they the writers inside your uh, hard drive that actually a uh, little arm that writes the, the, the data data writers I don't know what the heck you call them anyway it's a little 12 volt uh, electric motor two uh, blank CDs a little motor controller and two different 9 volt batteries this uh, this setup right here is running the motor and that setup's running there I tried to run them on the same deal but they interfere with each other and so two separate batteries is what I was saying er earlier that would be the best uh, setup and if you get it adjusted down just right you can use this flyback through a rectifier to help put some juice back in there to prolong the battery's life or whatever it, there's there's so many places where you could go so many ways you can go with this that if you just if you understand what it is I'm trying to show you here and the implications uh, of what could be done with this I think you'll be pleased at the outcome so anyway this video is like 17 minutes long um, peace and love everybody I hope you enjoyed the video take care